The Quadro 2000 is a card that I've mentioned in my $120 PC build episode. I said that it was a suitable replacement for the Fire Pro V5800 for those of you who couldn't find a single slot power efficient graphics card for the $30 price point. So I went out and got one. How good is it really? I mean, it's a Quadro after all. Can it actually game? Well, I got this Quadro 2000 for $30 on eBay without any issues. I just searched for the lowest buy it now listing and there it was. There are other single slot GPUs that you could get as well, but why this one? For about $10 more you could get a GT710 or an R5 240. Why the Quadro? Some uninformed might say you can't even game on it, but really the Quadro 2000 on the surface is a plain suited bespectacled man who drives a beige Toyota Camry and works a mundane 9 to 5 office job pushing pencils but secretly enjoys moonlighting as a strip club bouncer to remind himself of the glory days in college as an amateur kickboxer. In a similar fashion, the Quadro 2000, although a dull and boring business GPU, is actually the exact same GF106GL GPU that you would find in a GTS 450. With 192 stream processors and a shader clock of 1300 MHz, this card is perfectly adequate for the price. In addition, the card has 1 GB of GDDR5, meaning that gaming at 900p and 1080p shouldn't be an issue for most games. Listing the stats is all well and good, but how does it actually perform in relation to the Fire Pro? I tested this card on the exact same games at the exact same settings as the Fire Pro. And the benchmarks don't really need any commentary because they speak for themselves, so let's have at it. So there you go, on average the Quadro 2000 performs only a little bit slower in most titles to the Fire Pro. It's certainly not the best card out there, but as one of my more informed viewers nicely put it, there are no bad cards, only bad prices. And for $30 this card performs fantastically. So if you are having trouble finding a V5800, try the Quadro 2000 instead. It is indeed a great option if you need a cheap power efficient single slot graphics card. As always, thank you folks for watching, may your frame rates be high and your prices low, and I will catch you folks next time.